To remind ourselves of where we are, let me give us a quick recap. Our request was to insert a spreadsheet. And this was a request from Meryl Streep, who provided us with a spreadsheet of an account and contact. We went through the process of inserting the information related to an account. We walked through the steps of looking at an account record, preparing the CSV, importing the data, and then running a report. We're going to follow a similar process with contacts. The only difference being that we are going to use reports to get something called an ID, an account ID, that we need to match the contact with. So that's the additional step. But otherwise, we go through the same process. So step one, as we know, is to look at the record. So this is our report. We're going to run again in a moment. I'm going to show you exactly how we do that. However, I'm going to start off by looking at a contact record. And the reason why we look at a contact record is because we want to know whether we have the correct fields, right? So I have email address and phone number. What I have here uh, is, so we have the account name, I have the phone number, um, I have the email address, okay. Wonderful. Right, great. So I have my information. What I now need to do is actually create a CSV document. So what I'm going to do is go right over here and click File, New Workbook. I've opened up my, my workbook right here. And we're going to copy and paste the information from here. Once we're at our workbook, we can simply copy and paste this information in. Now, a very important thing to understand is that Salesforce breaks information down. And so instead of, this is the contact information for this person. However, what Salesforce uses is both the first name and the last name. So what I'm gonna do is clean up my CSV. I'm going to say first name and I'm going to say last name. This will make sense in a moment. So I'm going to put in here James, Yapi, Sheila, Blessing, and for Sandra. And I'm going to make sure that these first names are extracted or removed from our document. And this is because we need to ensure that when we map our fields in Salesforce that we have the correct format that it's looking for. So here we go, we have the first name, the last name, the email address, and the phone number for these people. I'm now going to go ahead and actually save this as a CSV document right over here. And I'm going to call this contacts for upload to accounts and I'm going to put the date and I'm going to click save. What I'm now ready to do is begin to think about what else is missing from our document and the account ID is actually what is missing, right? So we need to think about, remember, we have the accounts that these people are from. So for our, as a reminder, I will actually put the account name right over here. However, the truth is that in order to, Salesforce does not recognize the name. We cannot match a contact to a name. We have to match a contact to an ID. So let me show you exactly how we go about doing that. And what we do is we run a report. So I'm going to go in back into Salesforce. I am going to go to the home page. I'm going to click create new. I'm going to click report. 
And what I'm looking for is an accounts report. There we go, it's right there. I click accounts, I click create. Now I'm in Salesforce. My first step is to make sure that I save this report. So I'm going to call this account upload um, document for document, right? And I'm going to put the date just in case. I'm going to save it in my custom, my personal report so no one else can see it. I'm going to save and run this report. I'm going to click customize. Now, I know that I inserted these records today. So what I'm going to do is keep created date custom and I'm actually going to use today as a time frame. Now I can see that my accounts are actually there. However, what's missing is what we looked for, which is the account ID. So what I'm going to do is type in here, account ID, drag this over. And this account ID is really, really important. So I run our report and I'm going to export these details. I'm going to export this because I want to copy these IDs to our accounts. All right, so let's let's do that. I click export. I make sure that this is in a CSV and I click export. And now Salesforce then puts this information into a CSV for me. So what I'm going to do is click on this and allow Salesforce. There we go. It gives me the account name, the billing address and this important information. I don't care about this other information, I care about these two pieces. So I'm going to copy this and paste it into that CSV and then organize it. Here we are. We're in the original CSV, the contacts for uploads to accounts, right? And many of you may, might be thinking this was a very fast process. Um, I went through that process very quickly. Here's the key thing. The most important thing for you to know is that as we go through this process, we have to think about what the contact object needs. The contact object needs to have an account. How do we get that account? We need to make sure that we extract the account ID, not the account name. In order to extract the account ID, we need to run a report. Once we run a report, we can use the import date to filter. Once we filter it, we can get our, our accounts, which is exactly what we did, and we make sure that we include the account ID field in the import that we've just done, right? In, as we export it, we make sure that we have this ID. So now, what I have is my ID and my account name. Now I notice that it is not organized. And so this is where um, Excel skills are quite important. What I'm going to do is sort this information first, and then I'm going to sort this piece of information here. So I click data, all right? We then go to sort over here, and I'm going to click custom sort. I'm going to sort by, and I'm going to say account name, and I'm going to click OK. That puts all of these in alphabetical order. I'm then going to do the same for this right here. I'm going to click sort, custom sort, and I'm going to put this by account name. So now what we have is AB Logistics, AIGG, Jolk, SLTD, and Universal Imports. These are all lined up. So what I'm going to do is actually copy this right here and paste it right over here. So now we have all the information we need. I'm then going to delete this column right over here. So we have the first name, the last name, the email address, the phone number, the account ID, and the account name. The most important thing for me to do right now is to save this information. Once we've saved this information, we can then begin to put it into the data wizard. 
Uh, and that's what I'm going to do right now.